exhibited in the classroom really does transfer because our athletes really do have to be thinkers. Mm -hmm. And once again, um, we will use Terrence, if you'll allow me to. And Terrence and Nick, hopefully uh, it's okay. Um, but we realize that Terrence is not just an athlete. Share some information with us. We were just talking about him just a few months ago, and he was recognized as an athlete, but he was also recognized as an outstanding student. Yeah, we're, we're very proud of the point that uh, he, is a, uh, uh, he is an honor roll student. Uh, that he, is, uh, uh, that he gets his, his, his work done. He little, procrastinates a little bit, but I think that's kind of a, the teenager in him. But, but he, uh, he, we're very proud of his, uh, his grades. Um, and his uh, work that he puts in. Yeah. And also he has a, a, a younger brother, Tyler, that, uh, that he's, uh, he's probably more of a student than he is an athlete. He wow. definitely takes, takes care. He has uh, all straight A's. Wow. And so, you know, we're, we're proud from that, that aspect. And, and, and you know, a key to that, too, is, is, is their parents. Their parents are constantly on them, making sure that, that their work is done, work, making sure that the work is done on time. And at the same time, keeping involved, getting involved with the schools, and you know, they have a relationship with the with the teachers, that they're making sure that that, that they are doing what they need to be doing as a as a, um, a student athlete. Awesome, great. And we'll really kind of push through these others, and if time permits, we'll come back to them. But we want to talk about attitude, and quite honestly, some parents out there or some coaches out there would say attitude, you really should talk about that first. And you know, depending on the young person, I would definitely say that could be the case because that really determines a great deal about how far an athlete goes. You know, you've heard the saying that talent can get you there, but your attitude can really keep you there. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we'd like to invite everyone to do is once again, get in contact with us so that we may be able to serve as that resource and those uh, sources of reference uh, for you to help your young people. And you can get in contact with us by simply calling 901-870-7492. You can like us on Facebook simply by going to Ricky Tucker. And uh, you can drill down and get to Coach Rick's winners as well. And we're going to be posting shows and information. And if there are any questions that you have, just feel free to post those questions on our Facebook page. We can also be reached by email at ricksinternational at msn.com. And just so you will know, the Ricks represents respect, integrity, and excellence. And we are really focusing and interested in transferring those traits to our young people. Uh, now back to the show where, and our guest, Mr. Tommy Thompson, who is our global leader for uh, Coach Rick's winners. The last trait here that we're gonna talk about in the A game, and that is your anchor. We've all heard the saying that birds of a feather flock together, mm -hmm. and we really want to help our young people to be winners, and that's thus the Coach Rick's winners. Uh, we want to have them to see the value in associating and serving as that, uh, that positive role model, even as a peer. Um, kind of going back to uh, Terrence, if you don't mind, maybe there was something that, um, that was even shared, I believe, on our call about two weeks ago that Terrence did to really set a great example for his classmates, or his teammates rather, when um, the coach, I understand, um, kind of told them some adjustments that they may need to make. And he, being the leader that he is, shared with the young people that, hey, we need to do this and we need to do that. And for those players that associate with him and for um, him associating with those leaders and those winners in the, uh, on the team really makes for a big deal. Yeah, it does. I think that uh, now he is not the team captain because he's not a senior. Mm -hmm. Using it, they give that, uh, that honor to, uh, to one of the seniors. But uh, clearly the team was having some, some issues. They felt that they were not playing. The coach felt that they were not playing up to their capabilities. And, and there was uh, some disgruntlement within, within the team. And Terrence took upon uh, himself to, uh, uh, to, you know, to get the players together, uh, talk about the problem, and then at that same time 
suggested to the team captain, hey, let's get together with the, uh, the coach and let's talk about what we've talked about and see if we can't work on these things. And I, I think it was, a, it was a very strong leadership role for him to take you know, to do this. And, I, and I, I think that not only do you need to know the game, you also, also need to know your, your, your players and then be able to, to have that kind of uh, influence on them to, hey, make some suggestions and be able to talk to them to the coach about that. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about making winners and Coach Rick's winners and all of our teammates throughout the country. We want you to know that we are your partners, parents and uh, caretakers of our most prized possession and that's our young people. Uh, also, young people, we want you to know that we're here to support you. Parents, We've talked about parents uh, a little bit earlier, and we do want to step back and mention that parents and coaches, uh, we would invite you to get in contact with us, to uh, have us to help in any way, shape, or fashion that we can with, uh, with developing our young athletes. Once again, we can be reached at 901-870-7492, or we can be liked on Facebook by going to Ricky Tucker on Facebook, and we can also go to Coach Rick's Winners on Facebook. We can be reached by email at rixinternational at msn.com. We are gonna drill down some more and really talk about two of our subject matter experts that have shared some information. I tell you, this first guy that we talked to, well, really both of them uh, that we're gonna spotlight this week uh, have really taken me to school a couple of Saturdays when we have our Saturday morning calls. And the first one that we're gonna talk about is Tommy Liggins. Tommy has shared with us about how sometimes the life expectancy of a player player's career, rather, is not quite as long as one would expect. So there are some times when those careers are cut short. Tommy has shared with us that uh, he has coached at you know, uh, the highest level uh, in college. He's been a coach for 15 plus years. Mm -hmm. And there were some things that he shared with you as you were interviewing him in preparation for the show. That uh, that we'd like to to see if we could we could share with the audience. Yeah, uh, Tommy is, is very knowledgeable. He's uh, he played football. Uh, he's a running back. Actually, he still has some records um, at the University of Cincinnati, and he has coached uh, at, at some major colleges uh, around the the country. Uh, he is, he's, he shared that that there's a lot of uh, things that uh, um, that players go through as a student, and then afterwards. Uh, as a uh, um, as a as, as as a player, that sometimes these these things can can carry on even into now. You know, there's some things that he is suffering, you know, from all of the hits and just just the, the, the just the physicalness of, of football itself that he is carrying with him. And a lot of times um, uh, you don't uh, you don't hear about that. You only hear about the severe cases. But there's a lot of students that that didn't make it as far as he has made it, but yet they're still suffering from some. Of and, and there, there's a lot of things that are trying to be corrected now that you're seeing uh, in, within the news. But uh, you know, again, you know, he's had quite a bit of experience. He's been very helpful in helping us uh, understand the compliance for a student. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that, that our parents don't quite understand that, that, that could very well hinder that particular student from getting a scholarship or maybe even uh, you know, hindering them and later on in life as they experience life. Well, and that, just to go back and cover that again, ladies and gentlemen, that can actually impact the entire career of a young person. So we don't just talk about the sports. Our focus is to really help our young people to be as effective in classes if they are students and to be as effective as business men and women as they are so those are some really good points. Tommy has talked to us about, um, as he just said, um, Tommy Thompson has talked with us about Tommy Liggins sharing with us about eligibility requirements, 
college visitations and those kinds of things. You mentioned something about an injury and how that can either sideline someone and or once they're done with their career, how that impacts um, an individual. And it took me back to the reason why Coach Rick's winners exist today. Ed Morris, who's a retired NFL player for the Cleveland Browns, we were neighbors in Fishers, Indiana some years ago, and it was Ed who really said to me, Coach Ricks, I understand you want to be an executive coach, but we really need your expertise and the expertise of your subject experts in sports. And the more we talk about it, the more we realize that. So Ed and Francine, thank you very much. We want you to know that we are moving forward um, and we've been doing so for the past nine plus years. Now, we talked about Tommy Liggins as a subject matter expert in the area of football. We also have a subject matter expert in the area of track and field. Um, he and his wife have been runners. He and his wife have the hardware to prove it. And uh, they also have children that are currently uh, actively running and meeting and exceeding uh, state and citywide ch uh, championships and records and possibly even at the national level. I don't want to misspeak, but I know that they are really high performers. So that's, uh, that's Robert Jenkins. Uh, share some things that, uh, that you will uncover as you were preparing and talking with, uh, with Robert. Yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Jenkins, uh, he is a uh, track and field coach um, at the uh, uh, at the school in, in Athens, uh, Georgia. And yes, he's, he's very athletic. Uh, his, uh, his family has uh, quite uh, achieved quite a bit of honors in the, in the field of track and field. But Robert is also a, a, an endurance coach, too. And uh, in, in talking to him, uh, he has in indicated that what cuts the career or changes the career of an, of an athlete is, is injuries. I mean, that's probably the number one, uh, number one, one thing. Also got that same information from Rob Clement and from uh, Ronnie Thompson too. And just saying, you know, the injuries could just turn things around. At one moment, one play, things can totally be entirely uh, different. R Rob actually had showed me an article uh, being on from the financial planning side. Usually the professional athlete only has about 15 years to obtain wealth. And, and a lot of them don't have that long. But essentially, you know, it's a very short uh, career span. Uh, whereby an average person will probably have 40 years to kind of build wealth. So, you know, they, they don't have that much, uh, much time uh, to, to basically, uh, you know, get their career or get their life uh, sorted. So, you know, injuries will take a, take a, a toll on you. Robert had also shared that, you know, being involved in a negative environment, mm -hmm. hanging around negative people will bring about negative results. So you know you want to be able to you know, pair yourself up with people that are that are positive, that are, are more like like you. Those anchors. Yeah, those anchors, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And then then he also mentioned the other one of the A's will be the attitude, your attitude toward your coach, the attitude toward toward your your teammates. You know, having the appropriate attitude. Uh, also was thrown in there as far as experience would be your associations. Again, we're still yeah. within the the uh, bringing your A game. And, and your associations can, uh, you know, you may not be involved into what they're doing, but if you're associated with that, then you're going to be the old saying, you know, birds of feather flock together. Absolutely. And that can, that can hurt your career, too. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, yeah. Immediately, that stigma will be put upon you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, <laughs> just real quickly, because I know that we're just getting, getting started, uh, but it's time to wind down. You talked about Rob and the financial planning. Once again, you and I met with a young lady and we're looking to build that uh, financial support team so that we can uh, help people to not just acquire wealth, but to maintain that wealth as, as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of information that we'd like to share with you. Please feel free to contact us if there are any questions that you have.